Did you just look up a bunch of tier lists? If you did, perfect. Because today I'm sharing with you the code phony, indisputable tier list of programming languages to make money. You're a phony! Hello. Welcome back, code phonies. It is I, the code phony. I'm here today trying to make you some money with programming. So I've put together a tier list based off of hard data and my own factual opinion. Alright, so we're going to start with the Golang today. And this is a language made by Google. I haven't tried it myself, but after reading about it for this video, I'm pretty impressed. Apparently it's super easy to set up a server in Golang. And just look at this guy who made Shopify. He said it's going to be the server language of the future. Also, the syntax is similar to C, so in a way kind of like JavaScript, so it's not very difficult to read or write. And based on these factors, and that the average pay in the US was 136k, uh, that, that ranks it as, I'm thinking, an A tier for me. Ruby. Uh, I personally think Ruby isn't going anywhere, and they, I don't think they captured enough of the market whenever they were doing well. So, I'm going to give Ruby a D tier. I don't like Ruby. Sorry. Okay, now we have Kotlin. Kotlin's like, I think it's like the new Java or something that Google's trying to push. It, I'm pretty sure it compiles into Java. But yeah, this is the new like alternative way to, that we get to make Android apps. And I, I really question its relevance because it seems just like a fun alternative to Java. I personally don't think that a single platform development is gonna like last, especially when we have like React and other like multi-platform frameworks that let us build once instead of you know just just for Android or just for iPhone. So I'm gonna give a D tier. Okay, now we're at a we're at C plus plus, the king himself. I don't think we're worthy of C plus plus. So normally I'd put it like up here, like triple S tier or something. But since this is a list for making money out of the gate, I'm going to have to give it a C tier. Because it would take you years of training and probably a degree to be able to really get make any money with C++ in the first place. And that's what this is focused on, just making us money as soon as possible. So sorry, C++. Alright, C. Uh, C is going to hit the same points as C++, except... I mean, there's more ways to mess up the computer. So I think unless you're doing like some really small embedded devices, I, I can't really see why you'd go with C over Java or anything else. So uh, I'm going to give a D tier for, for making money. All right, JavaScript. If you really specialize in any, any of the popular frameworks in JavaScript, I think you can start making some decent money within a couple of years, just doing it on your own basically runs the front end, the front end of the whole internet so I mean you gotta see this coming S tier okay Swift uh, and I'm gonna have to say that I just don't like Apple or its products but if you want to make some money Swift can get you there um, eh, with an average Swift dev pay of like 120 per year Plus the potential of making profitable iPhone apps. I don't think Swift is the worst idea. So I'm going to give it a B. Especially if you're an entrepreneur or something. And you can come up with an idea that will make you a lot of money. Like, go for it. Alright, Java. Uh, Java's okay. I hate using it, but there's definitely a demand for it. But like C++, you're going to probably be looking at a job position where HR is going to ask you for that degree before you, they talk to you. And for that reason, I'm going to give Java a C, even though it runs on like everything. Python is a special one on this list, because I think it's great for people that come from an engineering or math or any other background other than computer science. I mean, computer science is good too, but it's really good for those other fields. Because I think it can, it can supplement your math, no, math knowledge or like economics knowledge or whatever knowledge that you have. You could potentially crush it in the data science or machine learning fields. So, and plus it's like super fun to code in. So I'm going to give it an A. 
All right, you guys are going to roast me super hard, but I love PHP. WordPress runs on PHP, and that's really all the justification I need. WordPress runs over, like, 30% of the Internet at this point. And PHP itself is running on over 78% of the Internet. So that's... I'm going to give it an S tier. There's a lot of fr freelance um, opportunities and even, like, business potential. Just You can help small businesses with their pre-existing websites. There's just a lot of things you can do with PHP. All right, so this is the Code Phony tier list. I'd highly recommend JavaScript, PHP, Go, Python, maybe Swift if you want to make some money. I hope this video helped you come to a decision on what language you're going to spend your time learning to make you, to make some money this year or next year, whatever, in your lifetime. Thank you so much for watching to this point in the video. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you know, just go down there and click that subscribe button. But don't forget to click the bell icon too to, so that my videos pop up in your feed. This is Code Phony out. Peace.